You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by the Mocktails Mix-Off. Tomorrow night, can you guys believe it's already here? Holy cow. I can't. Yeah. Uh, ten people head to head competing for a thousand dollars in a winner take all challenge. It's a lot of pressure, man. It I, is, I and then uh, the gotta... People's Choice wins a, a nice prize as well. So you can come out and help uh, award the winner. Uh, again, it's all coming up tomorrow night, five till seven p.m. at the L Riot Shrine, downtown Sioux Falls. Details at mocktailsmixoff.com. Dan, what you got? Well, just a side note on uh, on yeah. that event. I yeah. uh, I am one of the judges. Yes, I'll be down at the L Riot. A few hours early, if you're one of the qualifiers. You know. <laughs> so if I have a little convo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The the, uh, the judges will be sequestered. Well, convo. By the way. Well, it's all preordained because born this day, Nostradamus. Ooh. <laughs> I've always been a fan, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, if you look into it, uh, it's it's Pretty weird. Kind of unnerving. You yeah. Know? Makes you wonder what he was up to. Yeah, and kind of the same in the same vein, uh, Francis Bavier. Uh, Bevier. It's it, Aunt B from the Annie Griffith oh, Show. Oh, oh, oh. You know, she won an Emmy for that role. I, I wouldn't doubt it. She yeah. was great. Yeah, she was all right. And one of my personal favorites, uh, Ty Trang. Oh. Born this day. She was the original Yellow Ranger on the Mighty Morphin Power oh, Ranger. Yeah. Oh. Played the part of Trini Kwan. Nice. Yeah, that was a big deal, the Power range, Man, my son was into that stuff. Oh, yeah, a lot of kids were into that. I got into it with mom at the old uh, LaBelle store over the last remaining Red Ranger. Ooh. Holy cow. Who won? (laughs) I have a pretty mean right, John. (laughs) (laughs) Throwing elbows. Luke enjoyed his Red Ranger that Christmas morning. (laughs) (laughs) Put the poor lady in the ICU. Way to go, Dan. Whatever. She shouldn't uh, shouldn't have been giving me lip service. It was 1947. (laughs) 1947, the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, we call it NASCAR these yeah. days, is founded in Daytona Beach, Florida. Nice. Yipper. Let's see, uh, but up, 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 1903, the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, yeah. attempt to fly the Wright Flyer for the very first time at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Yeah, that's cool. That is, that's just crazy stuff. Uh, they did have to make an emergency landing when they... Uh, Pastor refused to wear a mask and then roughed up a flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> Hate it when that happens. It was 1969. You know him, you love him. Tito, Marlon, Jackie Germain, and Michael oh, yeah. Jackson 5 make their first appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. What year was that? 1969. Wow. Yeah, you've probably seen photos. Michael was rocking that uh, that purple felt cap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did uh, I Watch Back and ABC. Nice. You went to school to learn, girl, things you never knew before, like I before, E, except after C, and Y, 2 plus 2 makes 4. (laughs) That's the way to learn, man. There is. So I know, you know, we all know, we just get this thing done. We are going to do exactly that. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you this week by MocktailsMixOff.com. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at Timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's Timeforrehab.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting. Yeah. It is time for stuff Dan finds interesting. And Dan, what do you find interesting on this Tuesday? Came across this story, and if memory serves me right, it wasn't that long ago. There was kind of a TV series, some kind of reality show about this. They'd uh, have people. It was just called Trading Up. Okay. You'd start out with a virtually yeah, yeah. worthless oh, yeah. item. Yeah, yeah. Like the barter king. And work your way up to like a car or something. See how far you can yeah. go. And I thought, well, okay, it's kind of a reality thing. This is probably sort of kind of made up. It didn't right. Make, and I didn't follow it real closely. Yeah, barter just, kings did that too. Yeah. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's go down to Tennessee. The young lady's name is Demi Skipper. All right. I love her name, Debbie Skipper. Yeah. Started out basically on a dairy year and a half ago with a paper clip. Oh my gosh. It was a nice one. It was like a blue rubber. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Demi's just moving into her uh, new home in Nashville, Tennessee no now. Way. <laughs> Seriously? I'm, I'm not making this up. She traded a paperclip up to up a to. house. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dealing with people all over the country and Canada. End okay. up in everything from uh, Chipotle gift cards to tractors to all kinds of crazy wow. stuff. Wow. It's not some like palatial estate. It's kind of a fixer upper. But you know what? But, but, still. It, but it's hers free and clear. I yeah. got a feeling she'll do all kinds of bartering to make it look beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Miss Skipper is uh, 29 years old. Nice. Good for and her. That's fantastic. Yeah. Start out with a paper clip and she's got herself a house in Nashville now. That's you know, awesome. A year and a half. That's, That's really awesome. Cool. That I think so Heidi great. would be really good at that, by the way. Heidi is a, she's a wheeler and dealer. I am. I am. Yeah, well, you, I guess you never know. Everybody, you know, everything's worth something to somebody, somebody. and on and on. It's like, hey, I'll trade you for this. And well, you know, what's worse you can hear? No. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. starting out with a Hummer. It took her out. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she does want to get rid of the sunny Hummer. Should we see if we can flip that and turn it into a house? <laughs> That's right. And over the course of this time, because she was uh, posting these transactions and, and her uh, little journey on uh, on uh, TikTok, she has <laughs> almost 5 million followers. Oh, wow. wow. People going, okay, this is pretty crazy. She's probably got herself set for life just with that following. She can continue to do stuff and, and trade and trade and trade. She seems like a lovely young woman. Yeah, get so, another pa- paper clip. And, yeah, way to go from a... Trade your way up. Paper clip to a house in about a year and a half. That's, nice. Uh, At a girl. That struck me as pretty darn interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Why. That's why we refer to this as stuff Dan finds interesting on the John and Heidi Show. I'm John with a fun comparison. Some puppies are purebred and they cost more. Others are more affordable. And then there are free puppies. Nobody really knows where they come from, but they're free. In the advertising world, it's like that too. There are some super expensive ways to advertise if you can afford it. And there are some free things you've probably tried, but those dogs rarely work. Radio is kind of like that middle puppy. Affordable will snuggle with you and hopefully not pee on the rug. Radio advertising. Super affordable, a great investment, and man's best friend. Try it and let BetterResultsAdvertising.com bring your message to life. Time now for your morning coffee break, brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Dan Ferris, what you got for us today? Well, let's see. Dateline, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. About a week or so ago, a uh, lady was scammed out of, listen to this, she was doing a deal for, for a puppy online okay puppy which apparently people will people buy cars yeah. on people buy all kinds of stuff on yeah them. uh yeah cost her uh, five thousand dollars oh and she didn't get a total puppy. scam yeah expensive puppy total scam business mm. uh, better business bureau and our local authorities are going look you really need to research this stuff yeah wow. you know yeah. almost 35 percent of online scams now have to do with uh with pets oh no Over kidding percent are like dogs that like don't hmm. exist it's weird, five thousand dollars. I mean, you guys went went direct, and you still got scammed. We did not. <laughs> we didn't get scammed. Our dog is amazing. <laughs> that dog is amazing. Dog uh, Dan keeps saying our dog is not a dog. Yeah. She's a dog. She's an adorable little dog. See, I just uh, holy cow! While going through the process of purchasing a puppy, there are various times uh, the lady in question here had to send money through the internet for the cost. Of the puppy, then there was discussion on insurance, shipping. shipping. It went on and on uh, to where the money uh, was continued to be presented over the internet for this puppy before she realized that she was being scammed. Yikes! It must have been one. Yeah, so apparently nice that's dog. not a not a one off. Apparently that's kind of a man, kind of a kind yeah, of yeah. You got to be really, really, really careful. Big deal. Scammers. They know that people want references. They know that people want cute pictures. So their websites have. All of that. They sure do. Yeah. They have great endorsements from other people, but again, you know, you can do fake reviews. And you it's, uh, betcha. It's, it's, it's all out there. <laughs> and it's you like, can set up another account and then like do a fake review from that other fake account. So, you know, these scammers are pretty good at scamming. Yeah, because a lot of uh, a lot of dogs, a lot of puppies are expensive, uh, are really expensive scammers. Yeah, especially uh, if they're purebred. Scammers thing. love playing in this arena of play because it's a, a real emotional pull. Yep. You know? oh, yeah. So... Yeah, so uh, just uh, just be careful out there. Just be aware, or just go to mini critters and buy your pets yeah, you in person. That's a good place to go. It is. That's where we got Cassie, girl. Or do the rescue thing. Yeah, or yeah. do the rescue thing. I literally years ago got bomber for eighty five bucks. <laughs> that was less than a dollar a pound. Nice. <laughs> What? <laughs> and a bargain at that. I'm serious. Nice. Yeah. So you never know, man. Uh, yeah, do do your thing and let's let's be careful. Five thousand yeah, dollars. Ouchie. Ouch. Ouchie. Ouchie. Baba. Indeed. Holy cats.
Well, Dan, thank you for that, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Going to have some news coming your way here in a moment. And uh, I've got a guest. I think Dan knows this guy, Scott Studwell. I'm very well aware of Scott Studwell, one of the finest linebackers ever in the history of the NFL, spent his entire career with the Minnesota Vikings. I was, say, I was told he was a football player. He's nasty, number 55. So I, I think it's funny because there are people, uh, since I posted this early this morning, that I'm going to be vis- visiting with him about his new book. Uh, there are people that think it's quite funny that I'm the one talking to a sports guy. So Yeah, it actually is pretty funny, John. Because <laughs> I don't know much. <laughs> But we're talking about a book. We're not talking sports. But uh, Mr. Scott Studwell coming your way. And then uh, yeah, when he years. retired from the Vikings, he stayed uh, in the, in uh, the office. He was a scout for a number of years. I'll, for, uh, for I'll ask him about that. I'm going to pretend like I knew that. Number 55. I've got, uh, I have an <laughs> autographed football. Yeah. All right. That's coming your way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Brought to you in part by MocktailsMixOff.com. The event tomorrow night. Many new students sign up for credit cards that are not very good. Have a conversation about how to properly use credit so they don't learn this lesson the hard way. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Want one that offers points? We have those. Want a card to help you build credit? We have those too. BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. We're going to brighten your day right now, especially if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan. I have Mr. Scott Studwell joining me. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, John. Thanks. Well, we are excited to have you on the program. And uh, for folks listening to the program, they know I'm not a big sports guy. But here's the thing I can tell you. There's a lot of Vikings fans in the Sioux Falls area. Well, that's that's nice to have it was been one of those years where it's it's you know as as much as you want this team to be successful that they're they keep teasing you and <laughs> uh, but uh, you know the the viking fans have been as loyal as, as loyal as they are i'm sure it's it's been testing them as well well like your book is called viking for life i think you got some viking fans for life and some of them dad was a fan grandpa was a fan now let's talk about when you played when did you actually play for the vikings well i i started in 1977 uh was my first my rookie season and i played uh through, till 1990 so i i ended up playing for 14 years um all with the vikings um, and, you know, just had, was very fortunate and very lucky to, to have, have played and stayed in an area that my, my family has grown up in. I've met my wife here. Um, you know, I, I, I'm from Southern Indiana, but I've, I've lived up here a hell of a lot longer than I did in Indiana. And, uh, so I'm a, I'm, I'm a Minnesotan. Uh, I would consider myself a Minnesotan, and it's 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 been a great run. Now, you made a transition from being a Viking football player to working in the office. Let's talk about that transition. Well, you know, I retired in 1990 at the end of that season, and then um, you know was trying to figure out what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I was only 36 years old, which it, at that point was kind of old for a for a, a professional football career but it was still there was you know i was i came through the the, i was in the generation where the we didn't make that kind of money that that we could just walk away and and not do anything for the rest of our lives so um you know and it my wife kind of finally asked me what the hell i was going to do for the rest of my life and i you know i had had some conversations with roger hedrick who was uh, the president of the, the organization at the time, and told him, you know, that I wanted to stay in football, and so we created a spot, and uh, which eventually kind of morphed into a scouting role, um, and the rest was kind of history. You know, I was in the scouting department for I think 28 years, and and. Uh, it was a grind and it was, it was a lot of hard work and a lot of, you know, time away from home, but it was, it was, you know, I got to stay in the game and I got to stay, be around the football and, and, you know, that's, I I can't imagine doing anything else and was just, 
I feel very uh, fortunate to have been able to, to to stay and stay here and and be with that organization. It's such a, a class organization, and and um, you know they've uh, they've treated me so well over the years, and and hopefully uh, I just gave a, a portion of that back. If they would like to find your new book, Viking for Life, where can they find it? Amazon carries it. You know, I know the bookstores carry it. Uh, it's an easy read, and it's just, it's, you know, more about my experience and, and all the teammates and all the coaches and all the personnel that that I I was around. And, and just, you know, it was how the game has changed Um you know, over those forty some odd years, and and uh, you know, it's it's an easy read, and it's it's um, you know, it, it was nice to to kind of recall a lot of the memories that, yeah. that we talked about in the book, and and um, you know, it, it brought a lot of smiles uh, to my face when I talked about certain people and certain players, but. There was also some pain in there as well. And I'm sure the fans are going to absolutely love it. Scott, thank you so much for your time today, sir. You bet, John. And have again, a good day and have a good Christmas. Absolutely, and you do the same. And folks, if you've got a Viking fan on your Christmas list, what a great idea that would be. The book from Scott Studwell, it's called Viking for Life. I've got a link to it at facebook.com slash sunnyradio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Merry Christmas! Oh, you're not ready for that yet. How about Happy Halloween? At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all of the fun holidays throughout the year with funny, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we have a gift idea for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the newsiest news we do from the award-winning newscaster, Dan Ferris, the most expensive newscaster we could afford. It's time for news with Dan Ferris. <laughs> Look at everybody. <laughs> Burn the night oil, wear it, she lives. Hang on, does the man answers. Let's go down to North Carolina, should we? You know, we have mentioned it time and time again because it's a, it's a scourge nationally, ne'er-do-wells, Punk stealing catalytic converters from cars. Uh, yes. yes. Apparently they can do it quickly, and they get anywhere, I don't know, 50 to a couple hundred bucks, depending on uh, depending on the size. Yeah. Is it worth it? Well, not for this North Carolina man. Ooh. This guy was a pro, man. Hit a residence. Apparently there were a lot of cars parked out there, and he uh, actually uh, used a quickie little portable jack uh, so he could scoot under oh. a little better. Yeah, well... Well, by the time police were called and showed up, he was uh, crushed under a uh, Toyota Prius and oh, dead. Dead. Yikes. Dead at the scene. Dead. Wow. Deader than a mackerel. Wow. Trying to That's jack a catalytic converter off a Prius, according to local authorities. Hey, you know what? It's just not worth it. No, it's not. For what you get out of this, it's just not it's worth it. It's just it. not worth it. I like oh, to okay. think even people who do bad things on occasion do go to heaven, but if I'm St. Peter... I'm chuckling at this guy. <laughs> like, not only are you kind of a loser, you got taken out by a Prius. <laughs> wow. We shouldn't laugh about this. No, that's karma with a C. <laughs> oh, that's Camry. Camry is what that is. So. Who wants to dive into sports? Anybody? Yeah, me, I do. Brought to you sports. by Heidi? No. I'm all sports up today, Dan. <laughs> It's sports. <laughs> hey. yeah, but hockey, uh, <laughs> hockey headquarters, Sanford Sports Complex, Burton, the team, they're experts in all things hockey and figure skating and plus over 2,000 square feet of fantastic gift items for every hockey fan and player in your family. Collectibles, apparel, you name it, they've got it. You know, NFL action, we're getting towards the end here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And things are heating, heating up. But here's the deal. Love them or hate them, i got to tell you what, Tom Brady is... Really pretty amazing. He'll yeah. probably have his own museum someday. Yeah. Buccaneers did beat the Bills in overtime this Sunday, but here's the thing. Brady racked up some more NFL records, mm. including his 700th touchdown pass, nice. which happened in overtime to beat the Bills, by the way. And he just overtook Drew Brees in all-time completions. 
Brady now sits at 7,143 connections. That's over, that's 22 years in the NFL. That's amazing. That's exactly half of his life. Brady's 44. Right. Wow. That's like 138 years in pro football. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it is. It's yeah. pretty crazy. Uh, another football news. Uh, the Vikings, blah, 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 I've been waiting for the Vikes to come back after that uh, Thursday night when the uh, Vikings were actually uh, being spotlighted on Monday Night Football when they traveled to Soldier Field to take on the Bears this upcoming Monday night. Oh, Here's nice. the skinny. The Bears are bad, but the Vikes are average, and darn it, you just can't trust them. In case you don't know, yeah. the Bears are only averaging 17.8 points per game this year. Vikes, on the other hand, closer to 27 and a half. Oh, okay. nice. Final, Vikes, 23 and a third. Bears, 14.6. Call your bookie. 14.6. From the sunny 93.3 <laughs> news desk, I'm Dan Ferris reminding you, news is news to me. Thanks for watching. Gosh darn it, good night, everybody. In the past year, did you find yourself drinking more often? The stress of the last year had that effect on many people. If you're struggling to get back to normal and get the booze out of your daily routine, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find the best option for you. There are many different programs. Timeforrehab.com will do our best to match you up with the program that will work best for your needs. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. Equities pulled back Monday on the combined fear of COVID-19 and the FOMC. On the COVID-19 front, the UK confirmed its first death from the new variant, raising the stakes in terms of how badly the new strain may impact the global economy. On the FOMC front, traders are trying to handicap when the first interest rate hikes will come, and we think the right answer is sooner rather than later. As it stands, there is a better than 50% chance the first hike will come by May. If the pace of inflation does not slow over the next month or so, the first hike could come as early as March. Trading Tuesday will be greatly influenced by the producer price index, which is expected to moderate on a month-to-month basis, but to remain high versus last year and well above the Fed's 2% target. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.